We start off in backstage before the beginning cutscene of the game that kicks off all the major events. So starting off, Roxy is being very boastful, very prideful and all that, and the others are, uh, are very annoyed and tired of her shit. So Montgomery speaks up, and remember that scene from the Avengers where Cap asks Tony, what are you without the suit? Essentially, think of a scene like that. Again, I'm all making this up on the spot. I just have a general idea of how I want, of how I would change the story if I was the head writer and I was going to make Roxy the animatronic that helps Gregory throughout the story. So, those words kind of knock around in Roxy's head for a while, but she quickly shakes it off as now it's time for the show to begin. The opening cutscene starts off exactly the same, goes the exact same up until the end. Whenever we get that close-up of all the animatronics, everything goes fine except for when we zoom in on Roxy. She's kind of twitchy and is missing her notes. Montgomery, Montgomery, of course very annoyed, looks over her and shouts, What's wrong? What are you doing? And, and she doesn't respond. She, her voice box glitches out. Anyways, ignoring that, the cutscene goes on until after until when we get to the zoom in of Freddy, the second part after his name reveal, he then looks over to then see Roxy falling over. The screen then goes to black and we begin in Roxy's room with and she's just staring in the mirror beating herself up even like you know like banging her head you know what you do when you do something stupid essentially. And then we hear Gregory's voice. And Gregory then explains that while Roxy was passed out and everyone was in a scramble, he hid inside her birthday cake hatch. Now, following this, Roxy essentially mirrors whatever Freddy does with a bit more flair to it. A lot more, what are you doing? What are you doing here? Why, why would you hide inside my birthday hatch? All sorts of stuff like that. So... Now that she's scanned and finds out that there's no record of Gregory, she then says, Look, kid, you gotta get out of here. She then goes over to open her door, and it turns out to be locked. So, now she opens up. So now she gives... I can't speak today. This is really why... Sh this is why I should script these up, but then I'd just be over here, like, reading, like... Uh, hold on. I'm gonna use... Uh, fuck. Okay. This is going great, isn't it? Part one, and I'm already failing my words. Essentially, what you want to get from the gist of us is it plays out the exact same as the beginning. Just now we have Roxy and a bit more extra dialogue. Uh, what else could I add to this? I should probably redo this, because this is shit. Ah, screw it. 